the 1st of May. It's International Workers' Day, Labor Day, and also the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. This year, 2020, because of the pandemic, COVID-19, Workers' Day has even greater significance. At least in India, the people most affected are the ordinary workers, the migrants, the daily wage earners, those who have to live from hand to mouth in order to make both ends meet. Since more than a month, they have had nothing because of the lockdown. So what does International Workers' Day, Labor Day, May Day mean to these millions of our sisters and brothers who are in fact suffering? There are many people who are indeed reaching out to them, helping them, yet the vast majority of them are stranded, are stranded in different states, in places of work, without a daily wage, without the possibility even of having a square meal to eat a day. And what we are warned today is about the possibility of the pandemic of hunger, of starvation. Many of our workers today face this grim situation. St. Joseph is an important figure, not merely in the life of Jesus and Mary, but also in the life of the world we live in today. We are told in scripture that he is a just man and justice is what cries out to heavens today. Justice for the workers of the world. Justice so that they can earn their daily bread. Joseph is a strong man. He is in solidarity with the pains and sufferings both of Jesus, of his wife Mary, and of his community. When they were about to kill Jesus, he is told by an angel to flee to Egypt. And there, with Jesus and Mary, he is also a migrant. He is a refugee going to Egypt, a foreign land. So as a strong man, he experiences this suffering, this fate, literally, of be going to a nova land, of being homeless. Ultimately, Joseph is in solidarity with our world of today. We need to pray to him. We need to ask God, through the intercession of St. Joseph, to be with us, to accompany us in this journey of life. Pope Francis gives us a beautiful example. He tells people constantly when he needs to send his petitions to God, his prayers, he writes it on a small bit of paper. And in that statue of the sleeping St. Joseph, which he has by his bedside, he places that little prayer intention under that pillow under that statue of St. Joseph. He's sure that his prayers will be heard. We need to pray to St. Joseph today for the workers of our world, for those suffering from this pandemic. We need to pray to him because he is a just man, because he is a strong man, because he is in solidarity with the workers of our world today.